Greetings, it's Charlie Teachers. You guys, Heater here. Welcome to our first live sale back from the Philippines. I'm super duper excited. Oh my gosh, I've missed you guys so, so much. And I can't wait to see who's in here right now. Also, today is also our first, um, I don't know even what to call it, stream, also on Instagram. So. We're seeing if this works. I'm not 100% sure if I'm doing this correctly, but we shall see. I think I think it's working. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but let's see who's in here. There's Tara. Hi, Tara. There's Trip. Hello. There's Anne, Linda, Dee Dee, Kathleen. Hi, everyone. There's Angel, Cindy, Deborah. There's Funsa. Hi, guys. How are you, Sister of a Down? Hello. How is everyone doing? Oh, there's also people here on... Wait. I don't know if my comments... Oh, they are showing up. There's Hipati and she's on Instagram. So, Hipati, if you're watching on Instagram, let me know if this is working properly. Um, cl uh, Clever Cleverleaf Bags. There's Dee Dee. Hello. Hi, guys. Jay Sweet. Thank you, guys. Oh, my gosh. I missed you all so much. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever ever. <sighs> hey, Sam, how's it going? Yay. Oh, Hipatia, that's awesome. Okay, that means I connected this correctly. Vadrian also says hi to everyone. Vadrian missed you all as well. Hi, Dawn. Oh, thank you, guys. I miss all of you, too. <sighs> well, um, if you're, if this is your first time here on one of the lives or on the channel, my name is Hadrian. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm just back from the Philippines. This is my first live back in California. Um, I do have more Philippine vlogs going up. They have been going up the past few weeks. It just was really difficult to get them uploaded while I was there because I was using my phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot and it was, um, not the most reliable thing to use. So, um, but I do have more vlogs. And, but I'm really happy to be back. Um, also, all the sale information for the live sale is all going to be down below in the description box. Um, if you can't read it right here next to me on the screen. I know you probably can't see it here on Instagram. So if you have any questions about purchasing anything, please just let me know. Um, oh gosh, Anne, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I look that refreshed. But... <laughs> Um, wait, what did Tara say? Tara, I just go. <gasps> Tara, that's amazing! A hundred pounds down since April. That's, that is very good news. I'm very excited and happy for you. But, um, I'm really excited. Today's giveaway is really fun to, well, let me get the link really quick. Um, so I have a little giveaway today of some stuff that I got from the Philippines. Um, they're mostly edible treats. So they're really, really delicious. Uh, but let me get the link. Oh, if you guys could help me think of a giveaway question too, that would be awesome. But I have, I got these, um, a little bag of these Hello Kitty gummies, which are so cute. And the kids ate some. They said they're really delicious. And I also have a box of, Bulveron, which is, it's like a Filipino cookie. And this is like the cashew flavor. And they're so yummy. The cashews give it like a little crunch. And these are like my favorite cookies. So you're going to get this today for our giveaway. And, ooh, dream vacation. I like that question. Thank you, Anne. Let's do that. What is your dream vacation? So leave that in the comments of the video that I linked right here. If this is your first time watching too on Instagram, I'm going to leave the link right here as well. And I don't know if you can see like if I leave comments in like YouTube, if you guys can see it on Instagram, but I'm leaving that link there too. You leave your answer to today's question in the comments of that video. And then at the end of the live sale today, we're going to be announcing our giveaway winner for our cookies and our little Hello Kitty gummy treats. And hi, Lourdes. How are you? And do you like it? You know, Anne, um, 
for some reason, I don't like the polvoron from the U.S. I don't know if it's, like, because it's imported and it just tastes really, really dry. The ones from the Philippines, though, I feel like taste more fresh and delicious. So, I don't know. You might like it. <gasps> yeah, Didi! Yes, I would love to be um, part of your March Madness handbag style guest. That'd be amazing. I would love to do that. Oh, yeah. And these are not, they're not like, yeah. I know it, like what the ones from the U.S. I feel like are so dry and they're like, they're not as good. The ones from the Philippines are way, way better. So if you win, I'm sure you'll like these because they are really, really good. Oh, yeah, they are good to eat with like coffee or tea. Delicious. But how have you guys been? Does anyone find anything really cool recently at the thrift? Like, let me know. Uh, it's good to be back in California, but it is so much colder than it was in the Philippines. In the Philippines, it was like always 90 degrees. And then here, it's like the high 60s. Oh, thank you, Didi. It's all the soft water in the Philippines. The water, soft water does wonders for your skin and your hair, let me tell you. Like, my skin and hair felt so good in the Philippines. Now that I'm back here, I'm just like, eh. The hard water, just like, it's not the best. We've all been horrible on a trip. <laughs> Lost without you, Pauline. You guys are hilarious. No, I'm sure you guys did fine. It's only been a few weeks. But I'm glad to be back. So, I'm really happy that I, I see all your little user icons here on YouTube and get a chat with you guys. Hi, Sarah. I actually got a few, I got back a few days ago. Um, I kind of just like relaxed a little bit when I got home. And then, oh, thank you so Tara. I missed you guys too. And what's your dream bag? Looks like, oh, Cloverland. Thank you so much. That is so nice to say. I have been trying to be on my diet while I was in the Philippines, so. Do you have, I don't know if I have jet lag, but I was just kind of like, it was really, really busy the whole time we were in the Philippines and it was like really crazy um, flying back. Our flight got delayed a couple times on the way back, but it's all good. The flight back was actually a lot better than the flight over to the Philippines. Going to the Philippines, I, like, could not sleep on the plane. I, that's never happened to me before. Usually, like, after the first 30 minutes on the plane, I'm just, like, passed out. And I only wake up to eat. <laughs> and then I just like, go back to sleep. But that flight to the Philippines, I was just, like, literally awake the whole time. I've never been awake on the plane for so long. But on the flight back, it was really nice. So I think I was just excited to be back home. But, yeah. Oh, uh... <gasps> Sarah! Oh my gosh, the bibinka in the Philippines is so good. That's what I like. One of the things I love the most. The Louis Vuitton new wave chain toe. Oh, <gasps> Anne, did you post a photo? I have to see it. Okay, don't forget to leave your answer though in the comments of this video right here. Also, I do really want to see that bag. Um, and so if you posted it somewhere, I want to post it on the screen so everyone can see your new bag. Hi, Odelia. And have you posted it recently on Discord? I, I like had to turn off all my apps when I went to the Philippines because the, like the white, like the, um, the internet usage, it just, like, uses up all your data when you have all your apps open. So I had to, like, turn off all of my apps when I was in the Philippines. I don't even know if I turned them all back on yet. I feel like half of them are probably still off. But let's see. Maybe it's in the bag of the day? Bag of the day. Bag of the day. Oh, I love all these bags. Oh, my gosh. That little, like... Um, Birkin bag Don that you got is so cute. 
It's like a little micro charm that is so adorable. Ooh, Solis, that coach bag is gorgeous too. It's in photo much. Um, okay, let's see if I can find it. Actually, Vijay, can you find it for me? Um, oh wait, no, I found it. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. And okay, you guys, this is the bag. It's amazing. So let's share that here on the screen so you guys can see it. Hopefully all of my technology is working. Oh, okay, here we go. Let me size it down a little bit. This is Anne's new baby. That is beautiful. Oh, Don Robin gave it to you? <gasps> It's so cute. But congratulations, Anne, on your new bag. That is beautiful. I love it. I love that red. It's really, really pretty. Congratulations. All right. Well, let's get started. Oh my gosh, I feel like I look so crazy on the Instagram, like, feed. It's, like, really close to my face. Also, is it, like, really blurry? Oh, that's you, Robin! Your cloverleaf bags! Okay, sorry. My brain didn't, like, process. I totally forgot that that was you. It's so cute. Okay, well, let's get started. Um, I'm going to leave the link though one more time to enter the giveaway because we're giving away the Pulveron and the Hello Kitty gummy candy. Super excited about that. And then, oh, that's so sweet. I love that. I'm going to have to watch one of your lives, Robin. You guys, don't forget to follow Robin. She's right there. That's Cloverleaf Bags. She does live sales on YouTube. Hi, Laura. How are you? Okay. Yeah, all the people that are on Instagram, say hi. Because I'm trying to, like, figure this thing out. This is my first... I'm, like, for everyone that's just tuned in, I'm trying to... Um, this is my first time going live on YouTube and Instagram at the same time. Um, I, try, I finally figured out how to do it here on the app that I use. And... I don't know if like it's like a hot mess. So, but everyone that's joining on Instagram, hello. There's Michelle. There's my Memphis. Pause great find. There's Laura. Gypsy threads. Patricia. Hello, everyone. Oh, Kathleen, that's crazy. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Oh, I'm so excited for all the people that are joining on Instagram. This is like so crazy. Okay, well. Let's get started. Um, I don't know if you the, if the people on here on YouTube can see the comments in the chat from the people on Instagram. I'm not 100% certain, but I can. <laughs> Tell us a story about the Philippines. The driving was less crazy than I thought it was going to be. If, it's, like, if you're ever in the Philippines, the traffic is intense. And I thought I would have a hard time driving there because there's just, like, a million people everywhere. There's a million motorcycles, like, tricycles, bicycles, people just walking the streets. And I forgot that you only go, like, 10 miles an hour in the Philippines. So everything's, like, really slow. So it's actually a lot easier to drive there than I thought it was going to be. Um, but yeah, I did get lost intensely when we first started driving. Like when we first got into the rental car and we were driving to the condo, I got lost for like 30 to 45 minutes. <laughs> My mom and I were just cracking up because I was using Apple Maps. And in the Philippines, you have to use an app called Waze. And yeah, I was, I was able to make it to the condo using Apple Maps, but it was really, really difficult. And then once I downloaded Waze and got that figured out, then it was a million times easier. 
Oh, Laura. Okay, you're on the Instagram. Yeah. So I don't think you guys, I don't think people on Instagram can see the comments and I don't think uh, from YouTube and then YouTube can't see the comments from Instagram. Okay. I don't know if there's a way for me to get the comments all together somewhere. Um, but for the next live, I will see if I can figure that out. I don't know if I can get all the comments together to pop up somewhere. Um, but... That that will be something I will work on for the next live. I promise. We'll see if we can get that all on there. But yeah, the bikers and okay. The craziest thing though was we were on a highway, and there's so many people that just like run across the street, and there were like children. There were three kids. I think the oldest one was probably like seven, definitely like younger than Eliza, and they were on scooters and they were just like scootering across the highway, and that was crazy because it's like a really busy street and that was like really scary but they were okay and we were all driving like we were stuck in traffic but it's still crazy okay well let's get started though let's start off with our first item for the day i'm just so excited to be back i'm so happy i ha i've missed you guys so much um our first item today is going to be Hold on. I, <laughs> I have this inside of here. I just got it. Is this so cute? It's um anthropology giraffe trinket tray, like for jewelry or whatever. It's so adorable. If anyone's interested in this, let me know. But I was just going to keep it because I love hoarding things like that. I think they're really adorable. They're also really great gifts. But our first item today is the cutest coach bag ever this is a little um what are these called it's a domed satchel there you go and it's in this metallic like teal color it's really really pretty it's in a Safiano style leather it has gunmetal hardware it has the top handles the cross body strap it's in really good condition it has little feet on the bottom Oh, Margaret, thank you so much. I'm happy to be back. But isn't it so pretty? It has the hang tag on there. Um, there's a little pocket here in the back. And then when you open it up, it's also that same teal color on the interior. You've got a zipper pocket and then a slip pocket right there. In comparison to my cell phone, it's like that. So... It's a really, really cute bag. The color is really, really pretty. It's in really great condition. Again, it's like a metallic teal color. And it's a really great size. It's got the crossbody too. And the crossbody is removable and it is adjustable. So you can adjust the length of that strap. And that is going to be item number one, our metallic. Um, I think it's a little bit bigger than the Alma BB. Because I think the Alma BB is a little bit smaller than this. But in comparison to my iPhone, I have the largest iPhone. Um, that is the size right there. I think the BB from Louis Vuitton is a little bit smaller than this. <laughs> Dee <Didi! laughs> You know I had to have some cool bags for you guys when I came back. Okay, this is our metallic uh, teal... Mini Coach Dome Satchel with metallic uh, Safiano leather and gunmetal hardware. And this one is... Okay, we're going to do $80 for this one. It's in really great shape, really good condition. The leather is in really good condition. The exterior, the interior is really clean. There's no pen marks or anything like that. All the corners are really nice as well. And very minimal wear on the hardware. So gorgeous, gorgeous bag. That is item number one today. All right, next up. Oh my gosh, I don't have anything ready. I don't have my Excel open. My spreadsheets are not open. Okay, hold on. Uh, Vajran, I hope you're taking notes because I don't have anything ready. All right, today is the what? 
I haven't, I'm like, I haven't done this in a few weeks and now I'm just like a hot mess. Okay, our next item I have is gonna be, oh, my spreadsheets are open now. Hold on one second, let me open my files. Come on, files. There we go. Jeez, the last live sale was in February. That is crazy. It's already like halfway through March, right? Okay, next up I have is going to be... Oh, okay. I have... This is... This is a an Away bag. So it's by that luggage brand Away. This is the leather carry-on. Um, I believe this retails for around $500. And it is wonderful. It has like these nice top handles right here. You can carry it on your shoulder. It is a little bit of a tight squeeze, but you still can get it on your shoulder. But it does have the crossbody strap which is adjustable and removable. And it also has this nice padded piece right here. Oh, Kathy, I didn't buy any bags in the Philippines. How much did you get? Huh? Okay, yeah. So this does retail for $4.45. Adrian looked it up. There's a um, zipper right here that has two slip pockets inside. This is actually the part that you can attach to your luggage. So that goes right through there. Then on the other side, you have a nice large phone pocket. So you can fit your phone there. And actually, they think there's like a secret. Yeah, there is. There's a little secret pocket right here on the very bottom. And this is perfect to slip like some slippers or whatever for like the flight. You know what I mean? Or like some shoes. You can stick that inside of here, which is fantastic that's like a cool little secret compartment and then in the main compartment of the bag you have your laptop part right there there's two slip pockets there and then another zipper and then two more slip pockets so there's tons of compartments you have the key fob as well right here that you can attach and inside it's in pretty good shape there's a couple small like marks i don't know if it's going to show up on camera but they're very small. I'll probably be able to get rid of them further. But just know there's two like little small marks inside of there. They're not pen marks. I don't exactly know what they are. But oh, if that okay, I'll do that one after this. So this is item number two. This is our the oh, and the exterior leather is in fantastic condition. Um, this just has like two little marks on the interior that aren't showing up on camera. But this is our uh, black leather away. Uh, carry on bag with black hardware. <gasps> Ooh, Didi, I have to see that. Okay, and this is gonna be how much for you, Drain? Okay, I'm gonna do this one for 185. That is gonna be item number two. So 185 for our away luggage. And then next, we're going to do the giraffe. Okay, so next up is going to be our little anthropology giraffe right here. It's in like a cream ceramic, and then it has like the gold spots. <gasps> you know, Linda, I'm so sad because I to we totally forgot to buy it on the way back after we left. We didn't end up buying it. I can't believe you remember that. Yeah. We were so sad. <gasps> Wait, what are, what's stacked? Can you see it? Or... Oh, are they stacked right now? Are they stacked? Hold on, let me see if I can make them bigger. I think maybe, okay. 
I'm just, let me make these bigger. I I don't know if it's uh if you're talking about like the the sale info on the sides, but um if you can't read it, I'm gonna, I'm trying to make them bigger right now. But if you can't read it, you can um it's always in the description box. I think it's because I'm on Instagram and YouTube, so I think it kind of like changed up like the the look of the text. So I think that might be why it's looking a little crazy. So, um, let me try to maneuver some of these things over and then make them bigger and move them around a little bit. Let me know if this is better. Oops. Cause I think, yeah, I think it's because I'm trying, I, I'm doing the YouTube and Instagram thing. It's kind of making it a little crazy looking. Okay. Let me know if that's better. If you can read it better. Can you see it too better, Vedrin? If it's like unstacked. Okay, cool. Okay. Um... Okay, there you go. But here we go. It's super cute. It's in really good condition. You can hang like a like a bracelet or a necklace around the neck and other things on the bottom right there. So this is going to be item. I don't think it has any damage to it. Yeah, it's in good shape. So this is number three. And this is, how much are we gonna do this one for, Adrian? A little giraffe. Oh, thank you, Dawn. That's so nice of you to say. I know, I'm trying to be like in the middle because the, the, yeah. Hey, Hannah, how are you? I missed you. Okay, we're going to do the Antho Trinket Tray for $12. That's going to be item number three if anyone's interested in that. Alright. Oh, Yvette's calling it. Congratulations, Yvette. That one's going to be Alright. Next up... We have, okay, let's do, sorry, there's lots of things to maneuver. Hey, Lady Badger, how are you? All right, next up, this is a Longchamp leather tote bag, and it is in navy leather. The straps are nice and long too. So this will sit really comfortably on your shoulder. Even if you have like a thick puffy jacket or sweater, it sits really nicely on there. It's in excellent condition. The leather is beautiful. This is still available online full price. I believe it retails for about $450 online. Um, there's no exterior pockets, but it does zip across the top, which is fantastic. And then the inside, there is a zipper pocket, and then there's two slip pockets on the other, and the inside is nice and clean. Uh, Laura, this is in navy. So this is a, a navy blue. So navy blue, long chomp. Yes. Okay, so this is our navy blue leather long chomp tote bag. And it's smaller than the GM, but it's a little bit bigger than the MM if you're looking in terms of size for um, like the Louis Vuitton Neverfulls. And the hardware is, a, is in gold, but you don't really see any hardware unless you look inside. Just like you, just the zipper hardware is gold. There's no exterior hardware at all on the bag. And it does, it just does say Longchamp right here on the front. It's just embossed right there. I don't know if it's coming up that well on camera. All right. Uh, 
Okay, we're going to do this one for $165. $165. That is item number four. This one is in like new condition. And that is item number four for our long chomp today. I forgot the name. It's like the four. I can't pronounce it. But it's a beautiful bag. Yeah, it's like Fuyan, Fulon, Tote. Again, this is a navy. I believe it comes in a smaller size too, and the smaller size has a crossbody strap, like the mini size. But this is the larger size, and it's in navy blue. Next, I have. Okay, this one is. I think this this one I just showed. I think in today's YouTube video. And it is this Jagnormous. I don't even know it's going to show on the frame on YouTube. This is a Jagnormous Vintage Coach Carry-On um, duffel. And it is large and in charge. It is in this like golden tan color. Kind of like that British tan. Uh, it has the little clochette and keys right here. It doesn't have the lock, though. So it doesn't come with the original lock. It does have the clochette and the keys and the original hang tag. Um, the handles, nice and long to carry you on your shoulder. This is a large bag. Um, it has, like, these little buckle details as well on the sides. So you can have them down like it is right now. Or you can pop them open and then the bag will have more space on the interior. So it can get as big as this, which is huge. Again, I don't know if it's showing on Instagram. The bag is so big. I have to like stand like 20 feet back. Um, this has silver hardware. There's a big pocket here on the front. Perfect for like your cell phone. The interior is in pretty good shape. It has a brown fabric interior. You got a zipper pocket right here. You got the leather creed right there. The other side has like a big pocket. You could probably fit like a laptop in there. And it has a little snap right there. Um, it's a really, really big bag. It also does have feet on the bottom. It does have wear on the corners. So I think all four corners have some exposed piping, um, which I can leave for you. Or if you want, I can like patch it up as best as I can. Um, I think one, this side is probably the most damaged to it right here. All the other sides are not that large. Um, so if I patch it up, it won't look very noticeable, um, at all, but just the one side will, will probably show the most, which is right there. And that's the front right of the bag right there. Um, there also is a, like a water stain right here on the back. And then there's just some other like light blemishes throughout. I think there's like a mark right there, mark right there. Um, it also does, it doesn't have like a like a gross smell, but you know, you know like when stuff has been in storage, it kind of smells like mothballs. That's kind of like what the bag smells like. But that is our large coach duffel. I'm like sweating. This bag is so big. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I could probably sit inside the bag, to be honest. So this is our vintage coach extra large duffel with silver hardware. And this is going to be how much, Peter? Okay, we're going to do this one for $85. So that's going to be item number five. So it's going to be $85 for this ginormous vintage coach bag. $85. That is item number five. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Hana. But yeah, it's a really cool bag. It's massive. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> it's really large. Okay, so that's that. And next up, I have... Oh, this is a cutie. Okay, this next one is going to be a Dooney and Burke bag. And this is a little satchel style right here. I think if I move back, you guys can see it better on Instagram. This is in a golden brown Safiano style leather. And it has like polished brass hardware. The exterior is in really great condition. It's missing the crossbody strap, but it does have the D-rings on either side. So you can wear it as a crossbody if you attach a longer strap to it. And there is a, a zipper pocket here on the back of the bag as well. Odelia, I would probably just put some, um, so like activated charcoal bags into it, into like the bag and then zip it up. And then eventually it'll just suck up all the smells after a few days. So this is this bag on the exterior. All the corners are really nice, um, but the inside does have some wear to it. There are a couple pen marks on the inside. And there's also some slight discolorations up at the top by where the zipper is. I think you can see the pen marks more right here. Do you see those? There's a couple like right there. But there's a zipper pocket on the inside. There's two open slip pockets. And then there's a key fob inside of there. Ooh, I can't wait to see it too, Hana. That sounds exciting. I bet it's going to be super cute. All right. Well, this is item number five, six, golden brown leather, Safiano, uh, Juni and Burke, Satchel, and this one is going to be $75, and that one's item number six. Okay, there we go. Item number six is our Dooney and Burke. And then seven is next. Let's do... Oh, okay, wait. This is like my favorite bag. It's so, so cute. This is a, um, it's a brand new with tags and it is this amazing Tory Burch drawstring bag. It has these like floral appliques and like crystals and like sequins. The detail is amazing on this bag. It's so pretty. It's, um, it's on a nylon, like the body of the bag is nylon. And the sequins and the flowers are all around. The bottom is just the nylon right there. Um, and then the leather, it has leather trim, which is a black Safiano leather. And then it has a gunmetal hardware for the chain. It has all the tags still attached on there. Uh, interior just has one like slip pocket. It's almost like the size of a card. Which is right there. It's not really showing on camera. But it's super clean on the inside. It is in brand new condition. And it's so cute. So unique. Super fun. I wish you could see it more in detail. Can you guys see all like the crystals and stuff? There's crystals and sequins. There's like different shapes flowers. It's just like really cool and unique. Whoa, you're gonna do metal smithing? That's so cool, Hana. And good luck on your surgery. Okay, so this is our um, Tory Burch. 
um, black bucket bag with floral appliques and black Safiano leather trim and uh, gunmetal hardware. And this is Okay, we're gonna do this one for 145. And the retail for this one was almost 300. That's gonna be item number seven is $145. Again, she is new with tags. She is stunning. All right, and that's Tori Birch, number seven. All right, next up we have number eight. All right, number, or no, number, yeah, number eight is next, okay. Next up I have, this is a nylon Burberry tote bag. Hi Deborah, how are you? So this is a nylon Burberry tote. It's in like a grayish nylon plaid uh, fabric and it has black leather trim and silver hardware. It has these little drawstrings on the sides and it does also zip across the top. And then it has like this gray blue fabric interior lining with a zipper pocket. What are you doing? Oh. Um, it does have some staining from the glue that they use to put it together. Hi, Purple Rain. How are you? Um, so, yeah, the interior is nice and clean, though. It's The exterior does have some discoloration, some marks. You can see some discoloration on the corners a little bit. I don't know if you can clean them off further, but this is the most that I can get it off on the fabric. It's not too bad, but there are just like some marks primarily on the sides right there. It does have a leather bottom as well. And the straps are nice and long. You can definitely wear this one on your shoulder as well. And this is our Burberry nylon tote bag and that's item number eight Burberry yeah it's eight right that's what I've been saying okay we're gonna do this one for $85 that's gonna be item number eight for 85 that's our Burberry nylon tote bag. The fabric doesn't have like any holes or anything like that. It just has some slight discolorations from really on the corners and from the glue that they used um, to make the bag that yellowed a little bit on the fabric. All right, next is number nine. And for number nine, I have... Oh, well, let's do this guy. I have this beautiful coach bag. Um, this is called the Coach Eliza Crossbody. And it's in this lizard embossed leather in a very light green color. It looks almost like a taupey gray. But it's like a light, light, light green. It has the original hang tag right there. And the tags right there retails for $450. Um, it's beautiful. It has a convertible chain strap so you can wear it as a shoulder bag or wear it crossbody. It has a slip pocket here in the back. <gasps> Stephanie, how are you? I missed you too. It has a microfiber lining on the interior. Got a slip pocket right there, a zipper pocket, and it's super clean on the inside. Like I said, this is uh, brand new with tags. So. It's gorgeous. It's just missing the, the dust bag, but the bag is beautiful. I love the hardware. It's like a brushed silver too. It's like a brushed silver hardware. And that is item number eight. So this is our Coach Eliza 
lizard embossed leather light green flat bag with brushed silver hardware new with tags and this is how much favorite yeah um this one is gonna be 165 and that's gonna be item number nine All right, next up is number 10. All right, and then we're gonna do... Oh, okay, I have another long chomp bag. This one is in, it's like a lay pliage, but it's in like this fabric. It's like this really interesting, like a woven fabric. Kind of looks like it's from the '70s style, and it's like this, like a uh, square motif with like different variations of browns and oranges, yellows and creams and reds, and then it has a uh, brown and teal leather details on it. it has like this, uh, like this stripe that goes all the way around the bag, and then you have the handles as well. The handles are long enough to carry on your shoulder really nicely. And this is a little snap top right there. And you do also have this other um, snap right here in the middle. So keep the bag kind of closed. And then you can definitely open that up so you have more space with the bag as well. And then the interior is also in that, like, that same teal color as the leather on the exterior. You got a zipper pocket and then two slip pockets on the other side. Interior is in pretty good condition, nice and clean. You just have some light marks primarily on the leather of the bag. And you see that mostly on the top flap right there. But it's so cute. I love the style, the colors are really, really fun. And this is gonna be item number 10. It's our Longchamp Le Pliage fabric tote. And then this one we're going to do for 95 and that's going to be item number 10. All right. Number 10. Next up we have number 11. Okay. We have, oh, this is a frame. This bag is by a brand called Frame. Um, like, I think it's like a collab with Frame Denim. Um, it's with Ilona Hammer and Frame. And this is a really cool, like, hobo shoulder bag. It's in this two-tone tan brown color. So the handle goes all the way into the sides and this is like a thicker, like more darker tan leather. And then the rest of the body of the bag, including the bottom is in this lighter, softer leather. And I really like that juxtaposition between like the two colors and then like the textures in the leather. And it's just a really, really cute bag. It's a really great size. It says frame right there in gold and it zips across the top. And the interior has a open slip pocket and then a zipper pocket. There are quite a few pen marks. I think someone's pen kind of went wild on the interior. I don't know if that's showing up. Yeah, do you see those pen marks right there? There you go. So there's quite a few pen marks in the interior. The exterior is in great shape though. And it's a really, really pretty bag. I love like how it's like soft and squishy, but then it's like more structured on the sides. And this is number 11, our frame hobo shoulder bag in two tone uh, brown and tan. And this is gonna be $85 and that's item number 11. 
Huh? It would help if you just told me what it was. <laughs> I know. I was like, wait, what? Alright. That was item number 11. Beatrain's trying to give me a hard time today. I haven't been back on live for a long time. Okay, next, number 12. <laughs> also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Uh, we're giving away the, um, what are these called? The Pulveron and the Hello Kitty candy. Oh my gosh, Linda, they were so excited. Um... I was so happy that they still had all of that Studio Ghibli stuff. They didn't have all of it, and they didn't have sizing for everything, but I was so happy to be able to get some. So it was very exciting, and the kids were so happy because they recently just watched like all the Studio Ghibli movies, and they loved them so much. So they're really, really excited, especially Cade. He's like been a fan for a while, so he was really excited. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we did that. Here's the link again for the giveaway. I'm gonna put that in the live chat. Don't forget to enter. Leave your answer in the comments of that video. And then we'll announce the winner at the end of the live today. There is that link right there. So click on that link. Leave your answer in the comments. And then at the end, we'll pick a winner. And we are on number 12 now. Okay. Next up, I have, this is a little mini Alexander Wang crossbody backpack. It's made of this super soft red. Oh, are you really Odelia? <gasps> is there like flooding that's happening like by where you are? I remember when it was raining super hard here, like it was flooded everywhere. Right, Linda? Same. Uh, it has a crossbody strap, which is removable. So it's not like an actual backpack. It just kind of looks like a backpack. But the crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. It also has this cute little top handle. You got two zippered compartments in the front. And then you have the main zip up top. This will fit like the largest iPhone will fit inside. And you can zip it up. So it's a good size, even though it is like cute and tiny. And it just has a black fabric lining. Uh, it does have some slight rubbing, primarily on like the bottom corners of the bag. I think it's mostly seen here on the back, but there's nothing crazy. It's still in a really good condition. The leather is so soft, like lambskin. It's amazing. Exactly, Pauline. Okay, so this is our red mini alexander wang i think this is from the attica collection so the attica mini crossbody backpack with silver hardware and this one is okay this one is 120 and that's item number 12. oh 12 for 120. okay and then 13 is next number oh let's do okay we have Another Tory Burch. This one is really cute. Okay, there we go. This is our next item. This is our Tory Burch um, crossbody flap bag. And it's in this black pebbled leather. There's a pocket there on the back. The hardware is in really great shape. This is great because it's actually a convertible bag. So you can wear it as a crossbody as well. Oops. You can wear it as a crossbody or you can double up the strap and make it a shoulder bag. Top flap is magnetic. And then the interior is divided by this zipper compartment. On one side you have a open slip pocket and then on the back you got another zipper. Um, it's in really good condition and inside is super clean. The exterior is in really great shape. The leather is in really good condition. And this one is going to be how much for you, Black. 
year. Yeah. With gold hardware. And this one is going to be 175. Um, oh, Linda, the dimensions. I actually have the dimensions written down for that bag. One second. Let me grab it. Actually, Vinny, can you look up the dimensions? I have that on Posh for the bag. Okay, and there's the link right there. Or for that's the... Yeah, that was number 13. On there. Ten point five. The Alexander Wang? Oh, I was like, 10.5? Vedrin is reading me the wrong dimensions. Sorry, guys. Wait, hold on. By what? What's the width? Uh-huh. And then... Okay. This is the dimension. These are the dimensions for that, uh, for the red Alexander Wang Linda, for this one. The one I, I just typed it out. Okay, and then number thirteen. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Um, let's do this because I still have this here and I totally forgot about it. <gasps> wait, you guys want to see? Um, I haven't given this to my mom yet because I just finished, and I'm contemplating doing the rest of it, like the back, but. This is that pouch that I was working on. I like bejeweled it. It looks so crazy. I even did the little wings right here on the sides. So it is looking really, really cool. Um, yeah, I you guys said not to do the back last time, but I'm like, maybe I should do the back. I don't know. And I didn't do the bottom because I feel like I would leave it or like do that last because even if I did do the back, I don't know if I would do the bottom, but it just looks really crazy. Ooh, right, Linda? Oh my gosh. This took hours. I don't know if I'm just slow, um, but it just took a really long time, but it looks really, really cool. So I want to do way more projects like this. Just because I thought it was so fun. It does look like Dorothy's shoes. Except I think her shoes are sequins in the Wizard of Oz, right? They're like sequins. They're not jewels, right? I think they're sequined. But yeah, so... um, D4 says just the front. It's like, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I showed it to John. He was like, you're not going to do the back. And I was like, womp womp. And then Vaden also was like, you're not going to do the back. And I was like... Ugh. You guys are killing me. And you want me to do the bottom too? I feel like the bottom should doesn't need to be done. You think so? We're going to take... Okay, do you guys think I should do the whole thing? Like, let me know in the comments if I should do, like, the whole thing. Like, there's not a poll. I can't make one. I'm going to put it on Instagram. But, like, I want to know right now for people that are watching. Um... Instagram, YouTube, I can't do a poll here, but I'll, I'll do a poll like in my Instagram stories and I'll do one also in YouTube. I think I can do one on YouTube like stories or whatever it's called. Um, but if you guys think I should do like the whole thing, we can't ask mom because it has to be a surprise. <laughs> okay, so not the bottom, but both sides. <laughs> not the womp womp. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I was like, maybe not the bottom, but like maybe the back. Yeah, I think both sides, one side, keep it with one side and not the bottom. I still say both sides. I think most people say the consensus is at least no to the bottom, but I feel like most people are saying both sides. I think it it would be really cool. Like I even I was thinking it would be cool both sides. Vadrian is really pushing doing the bottom, and I'm like, you're crazy. Like, that would be too intense. No, leave me alone, Vadrian. <laughs> I just really, I just think it's so cool. I'm, like, obsessed. Like, can you imagine, like, I got, like, we got the aquifer, and then, like, the little pouch. I gotta make myself one of these pouches, so I can pull my, pull my aquifer out of it. Okay, go big or go home, Vadrian, calm down. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you're making my lips chapped. I hate you. <laughs> um, I want to say it took me like 10 hours, which is so long. I think it took me like 10 hours to do this. One side. Uh, maybe even longer than 10 hours. But I think by now I might be a little bit faster. So I should time how long it takes me to do the back if I end up doing it. So that way I can kind of know. But yeah, it took quite some time. Because like I, I really went in on it. Like all the all the crystals, I think I used like four or five different sizes. And I just wanted it to be like really pretty. So I do have enough of the crystals. I actually had to order a second batch of crystals to do, to finish the front because I didn't have enough. So, but I think I will have enough to do the back. It's because I was doing so, I was doing that other thing in red also, which is why I ran out. But I think I should have enough because I was doing this. And I never even finished this, but I feel like I should. So I can have like a whole collection. But I did the top of this Hydro Flask container. I really want to do the rest of it so I can do, like, the dented part right there. But could you just imagine, like, a whole red collection would be really cool. So, yeah. I'm going to start working on it right after the live already. Now I'm like, I got to do it. Hypatia, um, what kind of stones are you looking for? I just ordered mine off of um, Amazon, but if you're looking for like a specific kind, I think they also still, they still sell like Swarovski on Amazon too, but um, other places like websites, you have to be like, you have to have like some sort of like business thing, but you can also get, oh, I don't know if you have Michaels in Canada though, but you can. If you hadn't fully covered the one side with stones, I would like the not. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the front back, then it's balanced. Good. Same. Oh, Sister of a Down. I did film most of this. I did film most of it. I just didn't film the end of it because I was just like, I just want to get it done. But I did film most of this when I was jeweling it. So that is filmed. I have it on film. Ooh, thank you for the recommendation, Kathleen. I'm going to have to look at that too. Oh, a design. That might be kind of cool too. The leather is just so nice. It would be like a shame to cover it all up, but... The crystals are look really cool. Okay, um, I got sidetracked. Number 13 is going to be our Dior wallet. This is in a matte blue color. And then it does have the Dior charm right here. The Dior charm does have some color loss on it. Some of the silver is coming through. You could put lips on the back. <laughs> that would actually be really cute, Marjorie. Uh, the inside is also in that same matte blue color. And then it has silver hardware. The charm is also removable. So you can take this off and put it on something else. Um, use that as a keychain as well. But it's in really good shape on the interior. There's lots of card slots. Nice and clean. I am, like, such a small wallet person, too, Linda. The, I, it either has to be, like, a really big wallet so I can fit, like, a ton of stuff in it or, like, a tiny wallet. So, like, this size I really wouldn't use. My other wallet is, like, massive, and I put all my receipts and stuff inside to organize everything. But this is such a pretty one. I love the matte blue, too. I think that's really unique. Um, this is going to be item number 13, our matte blue Dior um wallet oh also it's not um it's like embossed it's imprinted into the leather so it's not quilted how much is this later 
Okay, this is going to be 175. That's going to be number 13. Oh, wait, should that have been 14? That should have been 14. Sorry, guys. 14. Okay, so that was number 14. And I have another wallet for 15. And it's this really cool Star Wars Dooney and Burke wallet. And this one is also in like new condition. It's in really, really great shape. And it has like, um, it has R2-D2 and then C-3PO. Uh, oh, there's BB-8 right there. You got... Um, like the stormtroopers and all that fun stuff on there. And then when you open it up, you have the Yoda green right there inside. This is like the change portions, nice and clean. Got card slots. Hi, Joanna, how are you? <laughs> right, Hana, it's not alive unless I mix up all the numbers. Super cute. So that one's number 15. So that's our Dooney and Burke Star Wars wallet. And this is... Okay, this one's $50. That's number 15. And then next up, we have 16. Oh, Sister Redown's calling it. Number 15. Ah! Okay. Um, 16 is going to be... Okay, a couple people, I think, messaged me about these totes. And... I think... The t-shirt? Um, that can, we're gonna do that tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, I have a couple of these tote bags that I had made. Hold on. I used this one on the airport. I'm not selling this one. This one's mine. But the other ones are still, like, like wrapped up and everything. But... If anyone is interested, I have a couple of these totes um, that I had made in the Philippines. So these were these are you these are with like um, Uniqlo totes. They're really great quality, um, and they're printed on here. You can wash these. Um, you can you just can't put them in the dryer. Um, but thrifty thrifters thrifting club. Super cute. I think I have three of these. That's number 16. Thrifty Thrifters Club Totes. And how much are we doing these for, Vitrine? Okay, we're doing these for $50 each, and we have three of them. So if anyone's interested, that's going to be item number 16. I have three of them available if anyone's interested. Um, Polly, let me know if you want it. I know they're a little expensive, but they were kind of expensive to get made, so I had to do a little more. And all right, Pauline, you got one. Yay! I'm so excited. About that. Oh, Sam, I had those. I made those too, so I also had it. I also had them made. Um, they're so cute. I I might sell one of the babies i'm not sure um where are they i have one of them right here this one is so cute i have this one and then oh this one's like my favorite one this one's adorable with the two of them Hi, Purse Curator, how are you? 
Oh, I have a t-shirt. I have to find it. But I have a t-shirt with this design on it of the green one. He's a little turtle. So that one I'll have in tomorrow's live. I just need to find it. Um. Oh, this is the one I made of the boys. I actually, like, I drew these all out. Like, I used um, Procreate on my um, on my iPad and I actually, like, drew all of these. So these I actually, like, drew. They're so cute. <laughs> I might have, I'm going to make, like, a little merch with these little people that I made. Oh, this is the Spice Girl one that I made, which was really, really cute. Oh my gosh, Sam, I can't sell the one with the two babies. That one's my favorite. I might sell one with one of the babies. I'm not sure. But. Right, Deborah? Isn't it so adorable? My sister cried when I gave it to her. She was like. <laughs> she was crying. But the Spice Girls one is so cute. It's like my favorite. They look so sassy, too. I want to make a sticker out of them. I'm going to, like, get stickers made. I am looking for, like, a website. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, I could buy... I could make, like, individual stickers on there. Also, Linda, you're too kind. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, but I think that's it for today. That's all I have. Um, I'll be back tomorrow night, though, regular at 10 p.m. Pacific time. I'll try, I'll, I think I'll try to go online again, too, here on YouTube or on Instagram. And I will try to figure out whether or not I can get all the comments together in one place. Um, for, like, the, yeah, for the comments from Instagram and YouTube. So that way everyone can see everything at the same time. Um, but here's the link one more time for the giveaway. Leave your answer in the comments. We're giving away the Pulveron and the Hello Kitty snacks. I know, I'm sorry it's so short. I, I didn't really have too much because I just got back and I didn't get anything really new. So, I know, I'm sorry. Ah! I think I also want to go buy ice cream because my mom, wait, I think my mom is making apple pie. I'm not a hundred percent certain, or she's going to make something that needs to be eaten with ice cream. So I'm just excited to be eating mom's food again because she, we didn't really get to cook that much in the Philippines. And I don't know, just eating out isn't my favorite. <laughs> I don't have, um... All, most of my bags I gave to Vadrian to actually list on um, Poshmark and Mercari and Depop. And it's crazy. Like, a lot of it's sold. There's not, like, a ton of stuff left. Um, but you guys can check out, like, my Poshmark. It's all linked down below in the description box. And shoot me an offer and we can probably work something out. Yeah, just let me know that you saw this offer that I'm telling you guys here on the live. Um, you, you saw it there. And just, like, leave, like send me an offer on if you see anything online, like on Poshmark. Everything is on Posh, Depop, Mercari. Um, or you can just send me an email if you see something online. And then I can send you an invoice. Uh, and we can, give you a good, uh, we can give you a good price. So just let me know if you see anything. I just don't have any of these things with me because Vadrian listed everything for me online while I was gone. And I haven't seen Vadrian yet to pick them up. So, um, but yeah, head over there on Poshmark or Depop, Mercari, and then. Oh, Corrine from San Diego, welcome. Numbers one. Yeah, of course, Pierce Cuter. Yeah, if anyone wants to see anything again that's from today's live, let me know. Um, but let's start off again. Okay, we're one through six. Our first item was a metallic teal. Oh, I also have a YSL. So actually, I, can, I guess I can have a couple of things, though. Or one thing. But this is the 
coach. It's super cute. It's in this metallic Safiano. And it's this is like a little mini bag. Adorable. And then uh, the next one was... Oh, the Black Away bag. Which... I lost. How did I lose it? That bag is huge. It's under a sea of bags. This is the away bag. Right here. It's a duffel, like, carry-on bag. It's really great. And then... The next item was what, Vaderian? Oh, no, that was the uh, giraffe. And then the navy blue long chomp is right here. The navy blue long chomp tote bag. <laughs> I know. I was supposed to be on a diet, but I'm over here trying to eat ice cream. I'm crazy. The crazy thing, though, about being in the Philippines is that I couldn't really snack like I like to. Like, I, sometimes I like to eat in, like, the middle of the night. We just never really had food at the condo. Other than, like, the food that we bought, we would always eat it right away. So I, like, <laughs> I was so sad. I was like, what am I going to snack on in the middle of the night? Uh, but that's the long chomp toe. It's navy blue. And then... We had the Vintage Coach Duffel, the extra large one. It's massive. It is this guy right here. It does have like damage to the corners. The piping is coming out on all four of the corners. And there is like a stain on one side. Like something spilled on it right there. And it just has marks throughout. Just like that. And then... What was the next one? Um, oh, that's one of the Golden Brown, Safiano, Dooney, and Burke. And that's number six. And that's this guy right here. This one's missing the crossbody strap. Is that a mosquito? <gasps> mosquito. Hold on. I gotta kill the mosquito. <gasps> I got it! I squished it! You know, I didn't get any mosquito bites in the Philippines, but here in the US, they are just following me around. Usually I get like a million mosquito bites in the Philippines. This is the first time I did not get any bites. And they're just following me here. Um, the Dunian Burke was $75. Right? The shape is really cute on this one. It's missing the crossbody strap, but you can attach. It does have like the little D-rings behind the top handles. You can wear it as a crossbody, just attach another strap to it. But um, yeah, so this one is $75, just missing the crossbody. Uh, oh, I do also have this YSL tote bag. I forgot to show you guys. So I think I just lost it in a sea of bags. I have this amazing, this one is so, so cute, you guys. You guys, like, this is a YSL um, tote. It's reversible. So one side is this cream color. It has gold hardware. It has, like, a little drawstring. It has, like, that classic YSL Y on the front and the back. And then, oh, it also does have feet. And it has feet on the other side, too. So when you reverse it, I mean, it's like a party on the inside. It was 85 for the large coach bag. 
And then here is the other side. It is this super fun metallic gold. It also has little feet on this side as well. It is amazing. It is so cute. The handles do sit nicely on your shoulder, even if it's even if you're like wearing a jacket or something. Uh, but it is fabulous. It is so pretty. I'm obsessed. I love the gold side. I would always want to wear it like this. The gold is so reflective and really, really pretty. So that is going to be item number, I think we're on 14. So that is number, no, 17. 17. This is number 17. This is our reversible YSL tote in cream and metallic gold. And it does have like some slight signs of wear. There's like some slight discoloration on the gold side on the corners. Um, and then on the cream side, there are also a couple little marks as well. But on the cream side, I will actually um, refinish it and color match it. The gold, I don't know if I'll be able to because it's um, that's a hard color to match. Um, this like super bright yellow gold. But the cream, the corners do have some discoloration and there are some discoloration marks on the body as well. But the cream side, I will, um, I will go ahead and color match it because I do have this color, I'm pretty sure. So that'll be easy to um, cover up. But just the, just the gold side will just have some slight rubbing on the corners, but it's not very noticeable at all. And how much is this featuring? Wait, what, Hama? You had it for 300 on Posh? Okay, we had it for 300 on Posh, but for you guys on the live right now, we're gonna do 175. It's gonna be number 17 is 175 for our YSL uh, tote. <laughs> Did you see, I see number seven through 14. <laughs> Yeah, what did you have done to it? Oh, you had the edge coat redone and dyed black. Okay. I can't wait to see it. 7 through 14. I, you know, I guess I could just run through it really quickly. Um, Alright. Our other, our next item was the Tory Birch. I showed that one. I showed that one. I showed that one. Peter, you can tell me what the items are and I think that would be a lot easier. Um, this was number 17, or number 17, this was number 7. And it was this Tory Burch um, drawstring bucket bag. The body is in nylon, but it has these beautiful floral appliques. And then, it had, like, there's sequins, there's crystals, it's really, really pretty. Okay, she's just kidding. Thank God. I haven't even bought the ice cream yet, Kathleen, so it's not even melting. I need to go to the store to actually buy the ice cream still, but we shall see. Oh, there's also this really cute coach. This one is really fun. I like this one. New with tags. We had this other Tory Birch. Yes, crossbody. But my ice cream is calling me. <laughs> but if anyone has any questions about anything else, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, we will be back tomorrow night. Ooh, what kind of ice cream are we going to get, Kathleen? I really want... Well, I'm probably going to get vanilla ice cream, but coffee ice cream is my favorite. I also want an ice cream cake. That sounds delicious. Okay. But let me leave the link one more time for the giveaway that we're going to pick our giveaway winner. Oh, I just have to get the... Ah, uh, yes, Linda. I can show it again. Here is the link for you guys on Instagram as well for anyone that hasn't had a chance to enter the giveaway. Um, where did you go, Red Bag? 
I lost all the bags in the sea of bags. Oh, here it is. Here is our little Alexander Wang. It's so cute. Hey, let me wear it as a crossbody. So here is the bag. It's like worn. It's really cute. It's a cute little baggy bag. Then you can just throw your cell phone inside of there. Zip it up. I will, and I have. I love coffee too. <gasps> oh, the butter pecan ice cream is so good. They have a really good low carb butter pecan ice cream, and that's my favorite. Also, <laughs> I have a lot of favorites, but that one is so good. So so good. <sighs> pecan praline sounds delicious. Oh, Kathleen, I feel you. Oh, Dee Dee, yeah, hold on. Let me look at Dee Dee's. Oh, Linda's calling it! Yay! Oh! Congrats, Linda! That's a little cutie. You're gonna love it. Um, Let me look up that little bag. I really want to see Dee Dee's bag. Also, Dee Dee, we need to figure out when we're gonna go live together. And now that I am back. Wait, Didi, where did you post it? Also, I just saw Fansa's um, comment for the question today, and she says that she really would like to go to Iceland. I also would love to go to Iceland. Oh, there's the bag. It's so cute. Oh, yeah, Didi, hold on. I am obsessed. That is adorable. Ooh, someone said French Polynesia. That's also really nice. Um, this is the bag. It is so cute, Dee Dee. You look so adorable. You look so happy. I love that you still have your tree, too, in the background. That's so cute. But yes, I love the bag. I love the color. It's everything. Congratulations. I'm obsessed. So cute. Yellow bags are so fun, too. I need more yellow bags in my life. I feel like I don't have enough. I feel like... For someone whose favorite color is yellow, I don't have enough yellow things in my life. So I need to like add more like yellow bags to the mix. So congratulations, Dee Dee, because that bag is really, really cute. <laughs> Dee Dee, we're gonna need like a tour of your of your like whole setup, but especially the tree. I love that you changed it for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, let me get Oh, let me see. Hold on. Dee Dee. I think I have Dee Dee's link for her channel. Let's see. Um... Where is it? I think this is it. Ah, here we go. Okay. So follow Dee Dee on YouTube. I have her link. It's right here. There you go. Give Dee Dee a follow. Check her out on YouTube. She's amazing. I'm also posting it for you guys there on Instagram as well. So show her some love. Give her a follow. And she's also on Instagram as well. So hold on. Where are we on Instagram? Here is her Instagram link also. So give Dee Dee a follow on her Instagram too. There you go. And then here you go also on Instagram. Yay, Dee Dee. We love you. Oh, dumb comment picker. Okay, let me get my random comment picker ready. I think it's this one that I use.
Okay. We're going to pick our winner, though, in just a few moments. I, uh, we love you. Okay, are we, are we ready to pick our giveaway winner? Like I said, we'll be back um, tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Pacific time. And hopefully we'll have a bunch of new, uh, new goodies for you guys. I haven't like had a chance to really go sourcing since I got back. So, yeah. Tomorrow's like... Crossing my fingers. We find some really cool stuff. Okay, we'll get this situated. All right. Come on, comments. Um, I think I forgot what else I had to say. I was a Oh, <laughs> the coffee cups. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. And I'll probably like do like a huge mug sale if anyone would be interested in my mugs. Because I have so many. I promise they're all cute. There's just like so many of them. Okay. <laughs> Dee Dee, right? I really, like, want to do more home goods sales. It's just so hard to, like, um, ship them. What would you mean? Oh. We need a Christmas movie about a Grinch who steals all the bags. <laughs> Are you jet lagged? Uh, Thrifty Debutante? No, I think I'm good. I think I'm back on track. I don't think I ever really get jet lagged, like, too badly. But, yeah, I feel like my sleeping patterns were just, like, a hot mess because I didn't sleep anywhere. Just save big boxes. <laughs> Um, yeah, I need to, I don't have any more boxes. I need to, like, c collect some more, for sure. Okay, we're gonna pick our winner now in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Our winner is Tara. Congratulations, Tara. My dream vacation would just be to take a vacation with my husband and kids. We have, a, we have never had a vacation in 26 years? <gasps> Not even a honeymoon? Well, you definitely deserve one, Tara. Especially after all this, like, amazing, like, progress you've been doing with your, like, weight loss and all that stuff. So you definitely need a vacation. A tropical vacation, I think, would be really nice. <gasps> Hawaii! Go to Hawaii! It would be so amazing. Oh, my gosh. But that is it. Again, Tara, congratulations. And thank you, everyone, for joining me today, everyone here on YouTube, everyone on Instagram. Um, hopefully we'll get all the glitches fixed by the next live. And that is it for today. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. Check out my Depop, Poshmark, Mercari. See if you're interested in anything that helps us sit there. Send me an offer or send me an email if you're interested in anything. And I'm sure we can work out a really good deal. Um... And that's it for today. Again, tomorrow, 10 p.m. Pacific time. Hope to see you guys all there. All right. Adios. Sayonara. Bon voyage. I miss you guys. I'm so glad to be back. I love you all. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.